It's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. And we are here at the fourth annual Women Empowerment event, and I am here with Hapisha Lopez, who is in, uh, the creator and inventor of the Empanada Fork. Okay, so tell me about this product. This is, this is amazing. Sure, the Empanada Fork, for all you foodies out there, it's basically a pastry press used to make like fork-like impressions on dough to seal the pastry closed. I have it here with me. Yeah. Um, it's good for empanadas, apple turnovers, little calzones. It's like a one-shot stamp. You press down and you flip it over if you want. Uh, it's something that I do a lot at my house. This is how I invented it. It was like a crazy idea and I just kept pursuing it and it f fell through, so I'm so happy. That's amazing. So was it just it, like you were saying, you know, you're just making lots of empanadas and we're just like, I need something to make this easier. Was that it? It, it was the holidays. So okay. I was hosting. So normally at my house, we start off with, you know, 50 and then all of a sudden we had a lot of people coming. So then it turned to 100 and I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to kill you. So my husband, my husband's a cook yeah. and I'm actually the helper. I call myself in the kitchen. So I had to close all the empanadas. So I was just complaining and just, oh. you know, ranting. And then that night I literally could not go to sleep without the idea I'm thinking I'm like wow what, maybe I can invent this yeah. but I thought it was like nuts but then the next day I said you know what let me just google let me do some research and this was before Shark Tank before all these shows that are now like so popular um, so it was exciting to you for me to even try to do it because once I the hardest decision was to decide to do it yeah so once that kind of I got over that then I was like oh my god this is so cool and hopefully yes. it goes through and it took a year to patent the utensil but it went through so. That's amazing. How has it been doing, um, like, you know, selling wise and everything? Uh, good. Uh, the first year uh, I sold it from my website. Um, and then now I have stores, online stores and regular stores that are linked to it. I have Uncommon Goods, I have Chef Central and Paramus in New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. Yes. I have Baked Deco. Um, I know Baked Deco also sells through other avenues. So it's doing well. I just shipped to uh, a store in Miami. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically going for the restaurant equipment supply stores because yeah. that's what's working for me right now. That's like my niche. Um, and, you know, I hope to come out with other sizes. Um, this year is the year of either partner up or um, literally just get an investor or something yeah, yeah. Definitely. So that's what I'm working on now that's <laughs> amazing now I remember my little sister used to have like little journal of like all these inventions that she'd want to make like little things that would make life easier basically like hoverboards and so it was great <laughs> so um, what would you say to all of like the young girl entrepreneurials out you know entrepreneurial girls out there that would like to you know invent something like this but like they don't know how to get started or what like what would you tell them I would say definitely getting a little book also is a great idea. I have that. For, I have a daughter. I have two boys too, and my daughter is just creative, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Oh my gosh, mom, I have this invention." I'm like, "Write it down. Yes. Write it down," because eventually, you know, we have time to sit uh, and really think if it's out there or if it's not. But I would say definitely the ch the time is now. You can definitely do this. Mm -hmm. Don't second guess yourself too much because if you overthink things, you don't do it, and that's really it. Just do go for it. And I think it's important for the little ones to actually want to become many things. Right. You can be an inventor and you can actually go to school. You know, you can, you know, there's many things. It's not just the one path that we're kind of used to back in the day. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show and I am here at the fourth annual Women Empowerment event and I am here with the host of this amazing event, Melly Mel, how are you doing? Hello, I'm good, Pavlina, thank you for having me. Yes, thank <laughs> you. So this is such a great event. I had to contact you like the second I heard about it. I was just like in I love. Did. I'm yes. so glad you did, yeah. Um, so tell me about it, how you started putting, putting it together and everything, this is the fourth annual, this is pretty great, you know, so tell me all about this event. Absolutely. So. So this event started in 2013 and it's actually been an idea that I've had brewing in my belly for a really long time. Yeah. Um, you know, I started my own business. I'm a, I consider myself a creative artist and my outlet is graphic design. Um, so I started a graphic design company where we help individuals and, you know, businesses with custom and creative design. Mm -hmm. um, but I felt like it would be great because as a woman, you know, I'm running a business. Yes. I wanted to connect with other women business owners because, you know, there's just so many things that we can share with each other to help network yeah. and build. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, it's also this sisterhood that yeah. we need because, you know, the media kind of pines us against each other that we can't get along, we can't work together. Yeah. And this event is to break all those barriers, to break all those stereotypes and to yeah. show that women not only have amazing things to share with each other, but that we can 
truly work together and make a difference in the world. Yes, that is so amazing. And I was just talking to the creator of the Empanada Fork, and she was amazing. That was just so great. And she's one of the panelists tonight, which yes. we're, I'm very excited to hear you know, her talk and everything. And like you were talking about, so <sighs> reality shows, the Kardashians, just really everyone in general, we were, ma we're making pretty good strides, um, you know, as women and everything. But like we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. we're still not even getting equal pay. Exactly. So what is something we can do about that? Like, how can how can that be changed? Like, every everything, whatever uh, you think, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, um, the reason why I have this every year is because we need to keep this conversation going. Right. The conversation is needed. Yes. I think the more we kind of keep bringing it up and mm -hmm. don't let it rest yeah. is the only way we're gonna see difference. Um, you know, I mean, we have Hillary Clinton who's running for president, she's yes. a woman. Yeah. And you know, I was hoping that it would happen with Obama, but yes. if, if and when she becomes president, you know, equal pay is something that I know for her, she's a woman, I'm right. sure she feels it. And it would just be great to just finally put that to rest. Because I just don't understand right. how it it's 2016 and women are not paid equally. I just don't understand that. So I just think just keeping that conversation going, yeah. women coming together and voicing what, you know, what issues they have. Because the voice collectively makes a big difference. Yes. So I interviewed Gloria Steinem, who is huge. That you know, she, amazing. yeah, she was amazing. I, she just came out with a new book. Like, it was just like, it's great. Like, I absolutely love her. She's one of my favorite people. Who has been a really big, you know, female influence in your life? Oh, absolutely. I have many. Yes. Um, but I'll say, like, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. I adore her. Oh, she's so great. Like, she's so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, she's the first lady. You know, she's a wife. She's a mother. Mm -hmm. And just everything that she's done has been so inspiring, you know, not just for the nation, you know, first black family, but just for all mothers, all wives, you know, she has um, such grace about what she does. Yeah. And it's empowering, you know, it's positive. It, it makes you feel like I can do anything, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I really love Michelle Obama. Um, but you know my mother I love my mom like we all come from mothers so yeah. we have to respect our moms um, but truly I'm really inspired and motivated by all women who are really working hard towards something positive yeah. you know um, any woman who's all about empowering other women women who want to work together and network like that to me is beautiful because together we can really really make big differences in the world right Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show and I am here at the 4th Annual Women Empowerment event and I am here with Tasty Quiche who is a radio host and the creator and CEO of Bonfire Radio. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yes, Appreciate this is amazing. Now you're a panelist for this event. What are you, what are you most excited for right now? Um, I'm most excited. I always get excited about the Q&As yes. because you never know. Like with panels, you kind of know where it's going, yes. but with the audience, it's always a surprise. Yeah. And my mom is here, so you know that's that's a little bit extra like pizzazz. Yes. <laughs> I mean, but I'm excited just because I love meeting new people, and they always have interesting things yeah. to ask. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, obviously, I'm in radio. You're in radio. Like, radio yeah. doesn't have a lot of women. Um, so, how would you, you know, tell girls like go get in radio? Because that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. But you know, we still are kind of lacking on that end. You know what? Um, Oh, this is a good one because my thing is I don't think about it as like I need yeah. to tell girls that they yeah. need to do something. I seem to gravitate in a group of like women that are very proactive like yourself and they just jump into the media and then I think what I do instead of just be like, yeah, rah, rah, let me tell you what you need to do, ladies, I, I identify people that are um, women, especially, that have a skill set that they might not know is perfect for radio, and I kind of, like, hound them until they, yeah. like, do it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I would have to say by now, in the maybe last two or three years, as far as just on Bonfire Radio, <laughs> I've help to start like three or four shows by women That's that awesome. are all differing you know concepts but I was like you don't need you don't need to don't be scared of the microphone right. I know you have a skill that people will enjoy and I know you have things that people want to hear let's work on that together yeah. so I kind of just I kind of like stalk the women in my life yeah. and then I'm like come come you can do this yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm like as a whole 
as a person, I feel like my energy is just welcoming and that's what I show people. Don't be scared to get into radio or broadcasting or media. But when I'm identifying people, I kind of go for them very targeted. Yes. And then I just tell them, like, it's not, not that it's not hard, but it, it's not scary. Right. And then I help them break the ice. And then they go do their shows or they do whatever they do. Or maybe they stop, but they, I end up seeing them behind the camera okay. or they branch it. out. Yeah. Yeah. And I just That's like to be, like, I just... I love to start stuff yeah, and starting women in media projects this is a I love it yeah. and I actually want to kick off the event um, with a performance this year we have special performance lover because. over lover and now my common law lover thinks he wants another and I lie for you I cry for you, I pop for you, and break for you.